Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rocket, Rocky, and today we are back with more Bloodborne. In the uh, last session, we did the Nightmare Frontier, maybe? Or oh, went for the start of Ben Woods. Um, but uh, anyways, today we're going to be doing Canehurst. One of my favourite areas in this game, actually, and I'm looking the wrong way. <laughs> one of my favourite areas in this game, just because of its unique setting compared to the rest of it. It's the most Dark Souls-y place in the game. And now I'm just going to avoid all of this out here because Blood Lickers are awful. Rather not have to fight them, like, ever. <laughs> and uh, last time we got in here and we died to all the ghosts up there. I'm not going to fight all the ghosts down here again. Just the ones in my way. Which looks like it might be more than that for. But the what the fuck is it locking on to? <laughs> right, that one over there looks pissed as well. And we'll take out these because I'm pretty sure you'll try and attack us if I'll even. And my blood echoes are up there, I think. Okay, no symbol on the floor. Cool touch. Yeah, I'm just gonna run through, pick up the item. Bloodstone chunk, the first one we will find. Unless you go some sort of weird route that I'm not currently aware of. Alright, we'll kill this one because it's in the way. Right, so I uh, get free shot by them. And all those are... Right, we are making more progress than we did last time. And that's all the uh, ghosts are women. Uh, I can't tell you the exact... I can only... I suppose we'll get to it later on, but... I don't know specifically why all the women are ghosts. Might just be a cane hearse thing. <laughs> just cane hearse things. When all the ghosts are women. Holy <laughs> shit! Oh, he went. He went flying. Right, in here. You'll hear crying, but you're like, oh no, there's no ghost in here. There is. But I don't think you can attack them. And oh, that's one. Nope, they were appearing as I walked past. You can parry the ghost, because why not? Not gonna make a habit of doing it, because like I say, I think it's a bit cheap. Look, there's three of them over here, and on this body is literally just Quicksilver Boss. I'm surprised that gave me that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, I'll heal that. That's you dead. Oh, didn't even need the um, extra attack. And there is one over here. And in here, there is... Da -da 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 -da, a noble dress. Finally tailored Bordeaux dress, worn by the nobles of the old bloodline that traces back to the forsaken castle Cainhurst. Nice. <laughs> Sadly we'll not be using it because its defences suck and it looks dumb. But uh, at least you know it's in the game for anyone who likes to make female characters. I suppose. <laughs> if that's really what you want to do. Statues everywhere. No idea why. Just medieval times. People love statues and shit. See up there. There's a gargoyle. Oh, there's one here as well. They are the weirdest enemies in the game because they just they can get like staggered like really easily like that. Oh, did? Oh well, we'll never know if he dropped an item or not. 
These um these enemies can drop bloodstone chunks actually, so that's why I really wanted to see whether or not he dropped anything. There's another bloodstone chunk. We need one more for a plus seven weapon. The amount changes every game. So like I'm I might be thinking of uh, no it's not because Dark Souls three is two four six and this game's like three five seven or three five eight maybe. Huh. Um over there. Yarn him. Bergenworth. The surrounding landscape, I suppose. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, <laughs> I should have known that was there, but I didn't and just honestly shite myself. <laughs> Nudity, gonna get my video blocked. This guy. This guy is going to be a pain in the backside. Unless I can get an early stun. <sighs> Bloody Arabia S dock using scum. Oh, he sword disappeared. Two blood files. Not bad. More statues. More nudity. Headless statue. Because from also love headless statues. Ooh, down here. Is a cool set of armor. How many? What? It's like, I didn't think I'd hit them that much. Also, they may take more damage when they're on the ground. I'm not sure. Also, a one gun shot, not in there. The executioner set. Now, this has got interesting lore regarding Kanehurst. So, um, a tire worn by the band of execution as commanded by Mart Allegarius later became the basis for all church attire with its heavy draping of holy shawl. As the great Ligarius once said, acts of goodness are not always wise, and acts of evil are not always foolish. But regardless, we shall strive to be good. Mart Allegarius seemed like a cool guy. Also, the gloves actually have unique dialogue for, like, the first time ever in the series. <laughs> The brass rivets are unique to the executioners and reflect their adoration of hand-to-hand -hand combat. I'm going to put this set on. It's not as good, but it looks pretty good. Look at that. Uh, actually, I don't know if it quite suits our character. I'm going to keep the gloves on, though. Look. Eh. Uh, Maybe not. Good old fashioned yarn I'm hunter gear. So, uh, where am I going? Up oh, in there, here. There, um, there's no helm for the set. Well, sort of. We'll get to that. Also, over here is a shortcut, and this is the Vile Blood Register, which is an online play item. It's just a list of all the um, people who have joined a covenant. Should be in key items? No, it's um, uh, consumable. Vile Blood Register. Register listing all known Vile Bloods. Red leather record of the Vile Bloods loyal to the covenant of Annalise, Queen of the Vile Bloods, at Canehurst Castle. A record of the Vile Bloods bloodlisting hunters who seek blood dregs of their, their prey, kept throughout the ages. And then over here is the lamp, which I'm going to go back and um, maybe see if we can level up. If not, I'm just going to upgrade my weapon to plus seven. Turn to the hunter stream. Feeling a lot more energetic this session. Last time I was just, oh, I had a sore throat and I was tired. Doll is up there. Just last time really wasn't feeling it, but today I'm full of... full of life. So, uh, that's good. Uh, do I want to sell out? Have I got... Um, do I want to sell out? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> money. Um, <laughs> nothing... particularly... Um, ooh, I could sell the writer plush, which we can't use, so... Yeah, I already read that last session. Uh, the executioner gear, I suppose, we can sell. 
don't really need Henrik set anymore. Uh, the noble dress, no. And like I say, we'll keep the foreign set. That's the uh, naughty 43 grand souls there. Welcome yes, welcome home, Very good well. hunt there. Uh, how many level ups have I got? Just under. Farewell, oh. good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. I'm gonna keep doing that because I'm switching between Dark Souls and Bloodborne and I keep doing the wrong button presses. Right, I'm gonna upgrade my weapon and see how many souls I've got after that. Oh yeah, I need three bloodstone chunks. I don't know why I thought two would be enough. Welcome At least we've got enough for uh, another level up. Uh, so... Back to... No, it's the uh, unseen headstone. No! Am I being dumb? I am being dumb. Forsaken Castle Gain as well. Oh dear, oh dear. And uh, back to Kanehurst. So went all the way round, up there, up round, across that bridge. I like the, uh, the level design in Souls games is always really solid. Except Dark Souls 2, but uh, <laughs> let's not mention that. Uh, back we are up here. Now this bit gets it's a little bit mazy in here, so uh, you'll have to might have to bear with us. I'm pretty sure I know where I'm going, however, so 